I go down this road with you All the highs and lows with you Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all, okay? Spread the opinion and a new exclusivity, you will definitely be notified. Let's get straight to it right here without hesitation. So Deontay Bronze Bomber Wilder is now Team Matrum. Whoa! So Wada signed a one fight deal with Eddie Hearn of Matro Boxing because you know there's this 5v5 from Team Warren versus Team uh, Hearn uh, taking place in Saudi Arabia June 1st. It is amazing to see how enemies can become, can like literally put things aside when like um there is good deeds taking place in boxing these are things i probably wouldn't have imagined to see hern and deontay wilder working together the devil like the rdbc uh, rdbc called Eddie, they call him the devil i don't know why they say that but i just don't know man it's a different maybe they see something i don't see I don't think at the end of the devil is he a corny guy here can he sweep you can he sweep you under the bus can he like uh trash you out like he did the O'Hara Davis can he abandon you like he did Dylan White can he like of course Hearn her, her only has loyalty for the money basically it's normal like every but that's why I see for me you know when I say I'm Nigerian, some people tend to think, some, some people at first think, oh, this guy would do anything for money. He would do this for money. He would do that for money because we know, we're not Nigerians. We are very money driven people in a way. It's normal. But I'm not money driven, bro. I'm passion first. I'm like, I'm uh, like, I, I, I don't look at another man and I don't measure my life with another man's success. I don't try to be like another man because I have my own path in life. I have my own goals in life. Of course, nobody wants to be broke. Nobody wants to be miserable. You have to work very hard to like to have some sort of stability in your life. You don't want to be a wretched. You don't want to be a lazy ass. Uh, but I'm not money driven because I wouldn't do anything for money. But there are other ways to get money. So let's get straight to Raya. So la listen, uh, I'm still very much amazed by this. Look, I want to first of all thank the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Crown Prince, uh, Mohammed uh, uh, Bill Salman, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, His Excellency Turkey Al Ashik, most especially Turkey Al Ashik, and crown prince of Saudi Arabia because without them without their vision without uh, like his SLS vision uh, Turkey I don't think we will have fierce rivals basically enemies people that hate each other like crazy work together like Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn working together can you imagine this guy that even went in good in good terms for 14 years for over 14 years and Eddie Hearn they were both both bashing each other up in interviews. Frank Warren said shit about Matrum, about Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn buys back. Both just wanted to win. But somehow, Turkey Alashik managed to put both together to work. To get a work. He said, listen, all this, all this hatred and riot on you, it's good to have rivalry for sure, but but not, don't don't implement you know don't become toxic with it so listen you guys can really come together and make something big Eddie and Omatra Boxing and Frank Warren of Queensberry Promotions saw that I'm like oh of course the money for sure is important but it's not just about the money you have to have a vision because anybody can have money but you have to have vision you have to have the ability to deal with uh, people and I believe that uh, it's SLSE uh, Turkey Alashik 
is very good in that. He's very good in dealing with people. He's, he's very good. Uh, he's, he's a very good mediator, and he loves boxing. That's the most important part. And then just they didn't just bring up um a card draw fan from Saudi Arabia to say okay now I'll put all these big fights together. No, they really brought someone that loves boxing, that adores boxing, that is a that is a that is a big fan of boxing, that wants to see boxing grow. Boxing is the biggest combat sports in the world. He's the most listen, people are more inspired by boxing than they are of other combat sports. Let's keep it right here. Growing up, everyone watched boxing. At least you must have watched a boxing fight. It's just facts. So we have to give boxing as number one. And when when you have boxers thriving, when you have boxers um thriving and fighting the best, then you have more fans, more even cadre fans coming on board. But when you have boxers saying, "Oh, I'm the A side, you're the B side. Take this." offer or, or or get out of my way you know you see you start seeing fighters uh the champions defend their bet against bombs and stuff like that so it becomes very very unexciting but right now it is booming and i think the american uh, promote prom, promote promotions the, the america promotional company like talk prank and uh, pbc they need to get on board because they had, do have good fighters they need to get on board. <sighs> I don't know, man. It's just one of those things you see. And um, I appreciate Water for like being the bigger man. And Water is different Water now because I think PBC have him up. And the um, funny part is that yes, at the end of Matro Boxing, I pin up his team. Um, we know that team uh, Matro. Hmm. Very, very interesting, man. Not just my team, the A team. The man to my right, Philip Hergovich, one of the most dangerous heavyweights in the world. That's why they call him El Animal, about to take Daniel Dubois to school in Riyadh, stop him in the mid to late rounds. The man to his left and the captain of the matchroom team, the one and only Bronze Bomber, one of the most dangerous men in the heavyweight division. And when I saw him in the hotel early today, I saw a look in the eyes to say, this man is backed with bad intentions. We'll destroy Zile Zhang inside three rounds. Here. Raymond Ford, the best 126 pounder in the world, 25 years of age, Camden, New Jersey. Nick Ball, we love him. Non-stop, relentless pressure. Going to get taken to school, picked apart and stopped late on. Spider, my big pick in the light heavyweight division. I think this is a guaranteed win. Willie Hutchinson, going to bring the pressure, bring the heart. But this guy with a long reach under Shane McGuigan, going to take him out and stop him late. And as for Ammo Williams, I know they like Hamza Shiraz. I know he's their big pick. This guy is about to show you why he's one of the most ferocious fighters to come out of America in a long time. Austin Ammo Williams to knock out Hamza Shiraz and book his place to fight for the WBC middleweight championship. This is Team Matrim. We're out. June 1st. It's a whitewash, baby. Listen. Water, Hearn made Water his captain. So Water is the captain of this of the team. Of course, there's some people who say, "Why Water? Well, bro, listen, Water is the bigger name right here among all these fighters." Right, Hearn. Um, imagine Hearn promoting Water. Listen, do you know how fucking great that would be? Like, do you know how fucking great? So how great that would? Sorry for the hard word, but do you know how extremely great as great that would be? Do you know? I mean, there is this accusations against Eddie Hearn, you know, people calling him the devil and stuff like that. I don't I don't see that. I wanna see it, but I don't see it. You know, I know the LDBC stands for something very different, you know. But maybe I at, at some at some point they do have to change that mentality. For example, Blue Blood Sports TV is very neutral now. You know, he used to be very pro water and stuff like that. I know that. I know Blue Blood Sports TV, but he's neutral now. Imagine not seeing the the the, the best of water and water, bro. This would be epic, bro. I mean, it's just a one fight deal. I understand it, but I would love to see them work together. Maybe a multiple fight deal. Of course, Heron will always be Team Joshua because joshua has been so loyal to it here like there's literally no fighter as loyal as joshua like joshua 
will be loyal to you as long as you are loyal to him. That's just Joshua. And he will cut you off if you see you're not you're not loyal. So Aaron struck a gold mine in Joshua. Because believe you me, 99% of the fighters in Joshua's position would have left at the end long time ago. And I heard Matrum uh gave a, a I think Joshua has has a a share is a shareholder of Matchroom. Like like there is the, the, the uh, business they are like they are like best of friends business is business for sure there's no friendship in business but they trust each other to the point where they give they always give a percentage to joshua there's just just a different set of um of arrangement water needed the love man from pbc but he didn't get it all he got was yeah like water my god man thinking about it right now i wish they linked up earlier but it's just life sometimes you grow sometimes you bury ash it sometimes the more you grow the more you realize that listen oh this rivalry doesn't mean anything when it comes to money get the money make the business done and keep it moving no sentiment bro big ups to Deontay Water um for being a, the bigger man because a lot of his fans are not happy a lot of his, I mean, his fanboys and wouldn't be happy with this. But you need to get business done. You know, so I'm I'm happy for water. I'm happy for water. And um, yeah, Eddie Hearn is a corny man. I don't know, man. I, there's something about Eddie Hearn that just kind of like makes me wonder, like, why is he so loyal to Joshua? Is it because Joshua makes a lot of... What if Joshua was down, down bad, basically? Would Eddie Hearn still keep the same loyalty to Joshua? Joshua was down damn bad, but it wasn't down at the point where yeah, like ticket sales was uh, they still made money off Joshua. Joshua was down bad, but Steve was making money. You know, it's just that he fought in lesser venues compared to before. Now it's back. Anyways, give it us below, guys. I'm happy to see this collaboration. I'm happy. So June 1st, man, it's gonna be Wild Bomb Squad <laughs> Steve Lewis guys.